competition, and this is going to be fun. And here is the man, Alan Gaines, out of Georgetown, Kentucky, and there's not a finer man on the pulling circuit than the tobacco farmer from Georgetown. Mr. Two-Wheel Drive. He is. He really is. And tonight he's got the Orange Blossom Special. And in two-wheel drive pulling, you'll see that front end go all the way up, almost point up to the roof here at the Silver Dome. And Allen is strapped in and ready to go. 510 cubic inches of supercharged motor sets out of the hood of this beautiful Ford Ranger. Full custom Ford interior on the inside of it. All original interior. Allen James opens the butterflies earlier. That's the way he likes to run them. Look out. He's headed for the door. Yeah. Good job for Alan Gaines. Outstanding pull. Boy, he just let that whale right from the start. The well, first puller of the night, Ken Brew, always gets a good shot at it. I don't think we'll see Alan come back, take his second option on that, but I'll tell you one thing, he did an outstanding job. Good hook down deep in the track. I think he'll take it, and it very well could win it. Alan Gaines. Says he goes on the pulling circuit when the tobacco crop comes in. And it is in now, and Allen's out pulling again in the fall. Let's watch him. He's into the motor real early. Front end is touching the ground a little bit. Starts up in the air. Good hook with it. Balance is very, very good. Just extremely fine job. Doesn't touch the brakes. Keeps it in between the white lines. Of course, they shouldn't have to get on the brakes tonight because they're running a very wide track here tonight. Outstanding job. Look at the bike coming out of those big tires on the rear end. Allen Gaines in the Orange Blossom Special 2 with a pull of 193 feet and 11 inches. All righty, here is Bobby John at a Wheeling, West Virginia. Right up there by Interstate 70 with the Kool-Aid Kid, 86 Chevy, 510 under and through the hood. Bobby Johns at one time was a professional bowler, and he's a very good puller. Look at this, stuck in the air, and Bobby's got a good hook. Whoa. He's got an excellent hook. Bobby Johns just takes the lead. Oh, my heavens, what a guy. Yeah. Bobby oh. Johns, Kool-Aid kid, really had a hook that time. Wandered around the track a little bit. Never mind, Bobby Johns still knocking on the door tonight with the Kool-Aid kid. Bobby, an ex-drag racer, ex-professional bowler. And very fine puller. There's Bobby. He says, yeah. He says, yeah, that was a good pull. It's like the maestro holding up the hands. Let's watch Bobby. Bobby's known for one thing, and that's both feet flat on the floor when he gets ready to go with it. Look at him rolling the pickup a little bit. They say, now go, Bobby. Look at the front end. Right straight up in the air. Bobby Johns kind of leans back on his way down the track, touches and pulls it hard to the left. He doesn't ever get on the brakes. He'd like for it to come back around. Look at the way he's cutting the tires to get it back around. Keeps the throttle wide open. Tires still turning and turning. And right down to the end of the track. Beautiful job for Bobby Johns and the Kool-Aid kid. You can call it Kool-Aid. I'd call it punch. 194 feet, 8 and a half inches. And from that, we go to the Steel City Shaker. Steel City. You know where that is, don't you? That's Pittsburgh, PA. This man can rattle and roll. David Zundell does the driving for his father. And they really got this one balanced about right. Now, he never really got the front end up on that pull. Motor kind of went sour, and I still th they may have had 50 pounds too much on the nose. You know, these trucks weigh 6,200 pounds. And you wouldn't think that 50 pounds would make that much difference. But moving 50 pounds around on this truck can really mean a lot of difference in them. Well, David knows that it was not the kind of pull he wanted, and it will certainly not be enough to challenge the Orange Blossom Special or the Kool-Aid Kid. Well, let's analyze this, Mike. Well, the motor doesn't come up the way it should. It's just kind of patting the ground a little bit. He'd like to have maybe another 50 pounds on the back of it, I think, to get the front end up, maybe get a little more weight transfer, get a little more traction out of it. But I think the motor went sour on him early in the pull, and that's, that's the reason he ended up on the short end of it. We could tell you that the Steel City Shaker, out of Pittsburgh, PA, a pull of 166 feet, eight and a half inches, but not quite good enough. In fact, far from the lead at this point. Here is the rice burner. Little old Toyota truck. 
526 under and through the hood. Bill Romesburg from Alverton, PA. Bill Romesburg in the hunt for the national championship in this two-wheel drive he's, class. He's pretty excited about it, too. He says he's got about a two- or three-point lead, which could spin the other way on him uh, should he have a bad pull, but he's had a fine summer. Well, he's had a good draw position. I think he's got an excellent place to run at. The motor sounds very good, sounds crisp and ready. And Bill Romesburg is an extremely good driver, real good driver. I think he can handle about any situation that comes his way. Good balance. Excellent job. Great pull. Good. Good. Very Beautiful. Good. Beautiful. I believe he's taking the lead. We're going to have to wait on the measurement, but it looks like Bill has taken the lead, and it was just picture perfect from the word. Now, we've seen this truck before. It's a Toyota cab, but a Chevy engine, right? No, very large, 526 cubic inch supercharged Chevrolet. You can good shot of it looking down from the top on that big blower motor alcohol burner Romsburg has moved his driving position to the middle of the truck of course the frame is no longer there but let's watch him excellent job easing into it about 50 feet worth of easing into it and at that time he feels the tires hook up he knows the truck's got a bite on the track some of them got a little wiggle some of them got a little shake and you know when to lower the throttle look at this front end up Bill is gonna send it on its way home and it's beautiful path He's got excellent ground speed all the way down the track with the front end up in the air, and it's a wide track. He doesn't have to worry about going out of bounds. And a very fine pull. I think he may have taken the lead on that pull. We're going to have to wait just a little bit longer to find out. And you know, there's only one way to ride around a track in first-class style, and that's with tires. Giant puller tires. You can't win without them.